Look at chapter 9, verse 1. Because as the inhabitants of the earth are trying to figure out what is going on, a fifth trumpet sounds in Revelation 9 and verse 1. And John sees an angelic creature falling like a burning meteor to the earth. Only John sees he's holding a key. And what a key he's holding. Now probably the burning messenger is Lucifer. And Lucifer has been given by God the key to the penitentiary, the pit that holds the really bad demons. I mean, demons are all bad and they're filthy and murderous and liars and, and wicked and, and they're behind all the horrors that are going on around us. But there's some ones that are so bad that God doesn't let them out because they're so malignant, so evil, so destructive, he keeps them incarcerated in this pit. And so what happens in verse 1 is the devil is allowed to let out all the imprisoned terrorist-like demons that have been locked up by God over thousands of years. And all of these bound up, out-of-control demons that have been imprisoned down there for centuries, look at verse 2, they begin to gush out of the prison pit. Now it describes verse 2, notice what it says, like smoke, the smoke of a furnace, and the sun is darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. Now this is when the real horror is unleashed of the tribulation. Earth. Now, fascinating to think about it. Verse 3 says, they sweep across the face of the earth like a dark, thick plague of locusts. Now, why are they called locusts? Because, because of the sound. This, this sound, the sound of locusts, you can hear them coming. There's just this loud, in fact, this fall when I was hunting, there, we had all these blackbirds. I told Bonnie, I'd never heard the sound of birds flying together so loudly. It was just like waves. They were so loud. And these Locusts fly like that, these demon locusts over the whole earth. And this cloud of evil envelops the earth. And so whoever's near the opening of the pit is just gushing, billowing the smoke. And finally, the last of these imprisoned demons come out. And then look at verse 11. Because what's amazing is that if those hordes were not enough, out of the smoke rising from the pit in verse 11 emerges the most fearsome monster of them all. The last one out is their king. And it says his name is Abaddon, the destroyer. And this is the angel of the bottomless pit whose name in Greek and Hebrew is destroyer. Both language captures this creature's name. But what's amazing is that these demons are only allowed to terrify people. They're just scaring people to death. They're not allowed to kill. And they inflict pain, but not death. Death is coming, but not quite yet. So for 150 days, they scare and terrify. And a world is terrorized for five months. That's what verse 10 says. But now it has something to fear. The searing pain is about to re be replaced by horrific death. Now think about these creatures. They're demons. That means that blast doors don't stop them because they're not material. They're spiritual beings. Glass doesn't stop them. Three feet of reinforced cement doesn't stop them. No bunker seven stories below the, the Pentagon doesn't do you any good. Okay, Cheyenne Mountain, you're inside with them, and you're the one stuck. They're in there, and the door is shut. See, these things are horrible. You can just imagine. But look at verse 17. Because this is the greatest massacre that arrives of all times at the sixth angel's trumpet. Another army rises. These are destroying horse-like creatures, and those who sit on them are like riders, and, and it says that they have this fire and brimstone color, and it says that smoke and fire and brimstone, what is brimstone, by the way? Lava. It's volcanic, red hot. I mean, go watch, uh, you know, the big island of, of uh, Hawaii, a movie from National Geographic of that lava as it just comes out of the center of the earth. That's what the death spewing from them, the fire, the hot comes out and with smoke and brimstone and fire, one third of mankind is killed. And that, that brimstone lava comes out of their mouth, whatever these horrific horse demon rider creatures are. And either it's a graphic figurative description of a great fiery force or maybe God just opens the earth's crust and lets out the volcanic capacity. But in deadly destruction, a third of the world's inhabitants go straight to Hades. They perish and go to the pit. 
just like that. It's the biggest massacre. I mean, our massacres pale to this. One out of every three, instantly gone. But what's amazing is, we're still not into the heavy stuff. This is still chapter 9. We still have all the way through chapter 20.